Oh hi there, Pointy Plumber here, PPH Services, and today we're looking at another gas Worcester, but this one has got a typical fan fault. Now if you're new to the industry and you haven't got a hairdryer, why? These are really important if a boiler's been off for a certain amount of time, it's important to give a little blow dry to the fan. So we're going to switch off the power, we're going to unplug the fuse from uh, the wire from the side and remove these three torque screws to show you the board. Now if we zoom in, Wabash! These are usually the fuses that melt themselves together. They get a bit of dust and a bit of moisture and you can see the charring on these. They'll bridge across and fry the board so it's dead. Zoom out! So, using some skill and gentle persuasion we can get this fan off the front. Literally pushes on. There you go, you see. Don't break it and remember which way round it goes. Then this old board is screwed on with another one here. This is actually the earthing point that continues the continuity of the earth from the body of the fan to the board itself. Once you've released the fourth screw hidden behind the other three screws, after you've unplugged the thing and taken the plastic thing off and taken the fan off, you should be able to just take the board off like so. Now these can be sent back to National Boiler Spares for reconditioning or you can just fuck it off behind you because it's dead and so is the boiler effectively. Now take the new reconditioned slash second hand board out of the van and hope that you've not put a broken one back in the box. It's really important that those two prongs aren't damaged and that they line up perfectly with those two holes on there, see? And you just wiggle it on and push it back into place and replace this screw first. <laughs> Dropped it. <laughs> Place this. Make sure it's spinny winnies. Wiggle this back over and line the holes up. Replace the power socket. But wait, this is the important bit. Get your hairdryer out from the van. Now you might wonder why we're doing this, it's quite simple. The reason Worcester fans die is when the moisture gets on the circuit board of the fan, it bridges, arcs and fries the board, we've been over that. So hair drying it, if it's been off for a while, even sometimes just for a cheeky service, we'll preheat the board, get rid of any dust and moisture and try and protect it from shorting out and blowing up the next time we turn the power on. <coughs> Right then, oh toasty. Now we switch it back on and hope that the fan spins. Did you see it move? Oh, it's alive! 